AQA, A level physics, wave particle duality. This chunk of the specification. Now, is light a wave or is it made up of particles? And this has been a, an argument, scientific argument for a long time. Um, Isaac Newton was convinced that light was made up of particles. People like Thomas Young, Christian Huygens and others thought it was continuous waves. Now, in another video, we did the photoelectric effect. And to explain the photoelectric effect, we think of light as being discrete, as in particles, little chunks of energy, these things called photons. So not a continuous wave, but light comes in little packets. Okay, so it's like little particles. So maybe Newton was right in a way. Um, look at this dim ultraviolet light, not very many photons, but each one has got a high frequency. So it's got lots of energy, uh, bright red light, lots of photons because it's bright, but each one has a low frequency, a lower frequency, so less energy. So light made up of particles, maybe can think of it to explain the photoelectric effect. We can think of it as being in little discrete packets. Now, electrons, is an electron a particle? Well, we've always thought of it as being a particle. It has mass, yeah, 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. However, remember Young's double slit experiment. What would happen if we did that with electrons? So we have an electron gun, we fire it through a double slit, we have a screen and whenever an electron arrives on the screen, there's a flash of light and we leave it running for a long, long time and we get a pattern. A pattern emerges and this experiment has been done many times, by the way. And notice we get something that looks very much like uh, an interference pattern, maxima and minima. Yeah, lots of electrons arriving at a certain place, not very many electrons arriving at another place. It looks like an interference pattern. And you can only explain that by thinking of the electrons as behaving like waves. One thing is though, it's not an interference pattern because it's one electron at a time. So each electron isn't interfering with any other electrons nevertheless the pattern builds up it's all to do with probability we can work out the probability of the electron arriving at a certain place using what we call a, a wave function yeah a probability density function basically look electrons behaving like waves now this guy here louis de Broglie. Uh, spelt de Broglie, but it's pronounced de Broglie, Prince Louis de Broglie. Uh, and basically, we can measure the wavelength of the electrons. And he suggested that the wavelength is inversely proportional to its momentum. So lambda is h over mv, that's de, Broglie, de Broglie's equation. And the constant is Planck's constant which is the same one as in E equals HF. So if the electrons have more momentum, they have a smaller wavelength. And we can investigate that. You sh this should have been demonstrated to you. In this tube here, uh, very fast electrons. So you accelerate electrons with an electron gun, and then you pass them through graphite, which uh, acts like a diffraction grating. And so you get maxima yes uh, and so you get rings so you get on the end of this tube there's a, a, a fluorescent screen and when the electrons hit it they produce light and we get rings and that is an interference pattern yeah a diffraction pattern what's interesting is if you turn up the voltage the rings get smaller they get brighter because there's more electrons hitting the screen and the electrons have more energy. But the interesting thing is that the, the rings get smaller 
And that's because they're traveling faster, so they have more momentum, so they have a smaller wavelength. Yeah, the more momentum they have, the smaller their wavelength. You should pause the video and have a go at these questions. And I'll show you the answer in three, two, one. Very typical kind of A-level questions you might get. So, are electrons waves or particles? Uh, and the answer is, at the quantum level, they are something different. They are, I think of an electron as being a particle that behaves like a wave. Okay, it depends on the experiment that you're doing. Some people would say everything's actually waves. I think of an electron as a particle that can behave like a wave. Nevertheless, it's wave particle duality. It depends how you look at it. Sometimes they behave like waves. For example, in an electron microscope that relies on the wave-like properties of electrons. Sometimes they behave like particles.